What's up, YouTube? So, September the 9th, 2009. Super Apple event. Well, it just passed. It is, uh, the time currently is, well, um, 9.21, in my country at least. I guess the event ended because the, uh, song, you know, that uh, official ending, let's say, of an Apple event is someone singing. So, that happened. I guess it's done. Uh, everything is wrapped up. And here are all the things that they talked about. So, I... It's like live blogging the live blog. It's kind of weird. Okay. So... Let's start from the beginning. First of all, Steve Jobs made the keynote. That's a good thing, you know, uh, a lot of people go to this uh, event just for Steve Jobs. You know, it's like an, I don't know, a Beatles concert or something. You just don't want to miss it. So, uh, he was there. Uh, he looked pretty good from the uh, pictures. Uh, and uh, he's pretty healthy. Let's say like 60% uh, of the uh, keynote was presented by him. Okay, so uh, the first thing, some statistics about uh, Apple itself. 30 million iPhones worldwide have been purchased. Now that's a lot. Uh, in the App Store, there are 75 uh thousand apps and over 1.8 billion downloads now that's a lot of downloads if you ask me so um, first big announcement was the iPhone OS 3.1 now this was in the rumor uh, rumor mill since you know 3.1 was uh, 3.0 was released officially now, it has some incredible features that I really want to see. The first is the Genius App Store, so that it would find out exactly uh, what your preferences are for different apps, so it would uh, give you some uh, ideas, you know, like the music. Uh, the Music Genius. Um, a pretty interesting news is uh, 30... Uh, thousand ringtones for your iPhone and I guess they are available for the iPod Touch too because the iPod has um, you know has those alarms going on and you can put uh, a song for the alarm this would be kind of interesting but the price tag is very big it's 1.29 uh, dollars for a um, ringtone but I guess you can make your own ringtone so What's the point? It should have came in 2007. Alrighty then. But uh, it's going to be free for all iPhones and iPad Touch users. So, obviously, uh, a lot of bug fixes. You know, and some little features. Okay, so moving on to iTunes. iTunes 9 was uh, released, and I have to say, I'm kind of impressed. Uh, about iTunes. First of all, it is the first music store in the world with uh, over 8.5 billion songs uh, being purchased since uh, the beginning of the uh, music store. So uh, that means uh, that there are a hundred million, yeah, that's right, uh, is that true? Yeah, a hundred million accounts with credit cards. You know, Apple is kind of making a lot of money. Yeah, a lot of money. Um, so, that's about some statistics of the uh, iTunes, app, uh, iTunes store. Uh, let's talk about the program itself. Obviously, is uh, Mac and Windows available, so no problem about that. First, uh, big feature is the Genius Mixer. So, like a genius mix. They advertise it as a uh, radio station sort of thingy. 
basically what it does it just combines all your songs in one big continuous playlist I mean just shuffle and repeat I guess now it's available in the 3.1 version of the iPod and the iPhone so that's gonna be kinda interesting that if you use the iTunes Store and if you just copy your files without enough metadata it won't work so I can't use it happy me anyway let's continue on sync smart okay they didn't say that but I just want to say sync smart the biggest problem that I had with my iPod was that uh, it would try to sync so if I delete a file from my computer which happens uh, because I don't want to keep my files on my computer if the, I have them on my iPod uh, iTunes would want to dis just delete that file now anyway smart sync as I like to call it would let you sync music obviously sync your playlists and uh, even sync artists which is kinda cool anyway if you're using the sync option but I am not really using it okay app management this is incredible. You can manage apps for your iPod Touch and your iPhone directly from iTunes. This is cool because, uh, you know, it's very hard to use your fingers if you have 11 pages of apps, you know, to move them around. Like, and, uh, I don't know, a game is stuck in the utility page and you have to put that app five pages to drag it five pages to your uh, games page and that's a lot of work and it's very hard this should work and deleting the apps again directly from the uh, iTunes program is interesting too home sharing didn't, we, didn't iTunes have this? home sharing lets you uh, see up to five computers with five accounts iTunes accounts so that you can get music from those accounts to your account. It's like if you have if you have uh, five computers in your home, you just put sharing so that in my PC I would have all my I don't know house tracks, and my mom's PC would have all the I don't know um, classics. So if I want to listen to a classic, I'll just copy from her machine, her iTunes account, to my uh, account, which is kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, um, you also also get uh, wish lists that you can post on Twitter and Facebook. Huh. Kind of interesting show, social networking integration. Ain't that true, rumor mills? Um, we see here that you can just click a button, wish that uh, file, and... You know, whoever is on Twitter or Facebook could buy you that song. Hmm. Cool. I wish I had more friends. Uh, anyway, friends that would use Twitter and have credit cards on the mm, iTunes. So, uh, yeah. But the big news is iTunes LP. And uh, isn't LP on, you know, disc? I mean, those old-style records, iTunes LP, only now in digital form. So basically, you buy the album, and you get a special uh, window for that uh, album, where you can see videos, you can uh, obviously listen to the songs, and get some bonus uh, art and stuff like that. It's kind of cool, in fact. Uh, but again, I guess it's going to cost you premium money, and I guess that's a lot. I don't know, no pricing yet on that. So, another interesting thing is bonus features but for movies. You know, when you buy a DVD you get outtakes or you get uh, something more, I don't know, deleted scenes or uh, commentaries. Now, you're gonna get that too if you buy a movie from iTunes, which is a nice addition.
if you're going to pay a lot of money for the download, why not get bonus features 